video of the uh, solar panels all connected. And I'm going to walk through the uh, messy zone right now. And if you look through here, you'll see the TV's going. There's 86 watts there. And you come through the construction area. And you'll see right now, I got my inverter on, and I'm drawing 7.4 amps out of my battery bank. And I've got 41.2 amps coming in, so I'm getting ready to go in absorption mode while I'm using my power. Huh? How's that? Pretty good idea right here, huh? I think so. Okay. Uh, it's uh, Monday morning, and it's about 8.30 in the morning. And that's just incredible. Uh, that inverter has been running now for uh, over 24 hours. Powering the TV and the living room lights and everything else, and it's getting ready to shut off. And there it is 20, 21 amps, 41 amps going to the bank, 25 amps coming in. Okay, that's it for that deal. Okay, update two I just uh, took the TV off the inverter. It's 9 30 a.m. My guests are leaving the house. Uh, I'm down from uh, 26 amps in down to 13 I'm in absorption mode 14.4 volts on the bank Fourteen five two. okay now I'm going to switch power I'm going to disconnect three of the solar panels and put them into the, the inverter there we go. 50, 92, 132, 170, 205, 58, 60, 66, and 72. Okay. Uh, it's 272. The ones on the tracker. Blue Technic panels on that fourth GTI. Been on for an hour. 159 minutes, there's 122 watts coming in out of 710 on the ground. And here, as I figured it out finally, it's 860 watts on this inverter, or maybe it's 600, 670, that's what it is. So 670, and it's putting out 275, that's at 9.30 a.m. Okay, it's uh, Monday night, 7.45 p.m. Well, that's the uh, charge controller and that's the inverter from the charge controller which is actually the only one still getting any kind of power 167 watts 15.6 on 3 17 on 2 and the panels on the ground are uh, 17 watts so I'm going to go take a quick peek outside and show the new pole where the new track is going alright there it is uh, 7.42 p.m. There's the new pole where the tracker number four will go. And there's the new uh, one on the 6x6 six six pole. You can see the others are pretty much in the shade now. So that's it for the update. I have to uh, say today I took it a bit easy because this is been a lot of work trying to get this done. But hopefully it will be done by the weekend. So that's it. Updated. The end. Okay, uh, I just wanted to end with the showing that. Uh, I did indeed finally get my new solar sensor from Australia. Showed up today in the mail. It's uh, pretty cool. It's got, a, uh, got a bunch of LEDs on it, and uh, these LEDs in the board are actually going to come off. And uh, this is actually the remote LED sensor that goes up on the panels, which is uh, nice of the guy to put it in the box for me. And also, I found these nice little uh, water watertight clear plastic containers of which I'm going to use to install these uh, solar sensors instead of the uh, metal uh, spotlight housings that I was buying for $18 a piece and then destroying them just to get to the housing to mount them on top of another plastic box. So anyway, that's the uh, new solar sensor and hopefully uh, I'll have tracker number four with the four 
some Technic panels installed on it and uh, I will be using this new sensor and we'll see how this works this has a reversed inhibit and a auto park feature also so at night time it automatically goes back to the east and it shuts itself off at five minute intervals each time it senses the sun it goes to sleep for five minutes before it takes another peek at it so that should be really pretty cool because uh, I'm sick of all the hanging around and messing around with these sensors. Alright, that's enough about that. Yeah.